The word qadr literally means to measure and to create something with the proper measure and proportion. This verse could be interpreted in both physical context and the theological context. So in the physical meaning, the verse states that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created every species wisely with proper measurement. Regardless of their overall body having different sizes and shapes, the proportion of the body parts is in relative importance of the need. So the shape of a tissue or organ is according to the function it performs. This can be true for the external characteristics as well as the internal makeup of all objects, whether living or non-living. In the theological context, Qadr refers to taqdi or divine predetermination. So the verse would mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created everything with a predetermined end. He knew everything that will occur in relation to that creation before it even happened. And hence, when he created something, it can be considered to already have a predetermined end because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's infinite knowledge. We find many references of Qadr, predestination in a hadith, narrated by Abu Huraira in Muslim. He says, جَاءَ مُشْرِكُ قُرَيْشٍ يُخَاسِمُونَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ فِي الْقَدْرِ فَنَزَلَتْ يَوْمَ يُسْحَبُونَ فِي النَّارِ عَلَى وُجُوهِهِمْ ذُوقُوا مَسَّ سَقَرْ إِنَّا كُلَّ شَيْءٍ خَلَقْنَاهُ بِقَدْرِ So Abu Huraira states, the mushkeen of Quraysh came to have an argument with Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi in regards to destiny. And then this verse of Surah Qamar was revealed. So this is confirming that the reference here is about taqdeer. Narrated by Abdullah bin Amr uh, bin Al-As, Rada Ta'ala Anhu in Muslim, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, كَتَبَ اللَّهُ مَقَادِرَ الْخَلَائِقِ قَبْلَ أَنْ يَخْلُقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْعَضَى بِخَمْسِينَ أَلْفَ سَنَةٍ Allah ordained the measures of quality of the creation 50,000 years before he created the heavens and the earth. For some people, the concept of taqdeer can be very pessimistic. That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already predetermined what the outcome of my effort will be, or what will be my final abode, meaning paradise or hellfire, then what is the motivation to take any action or make any effort? But the fact is, there is a very powerful way to internalize the concept of taqdeer, a way that gives you a strength instead of demotivation and boosts your confidence rather than instilling regression. Narrated by Ibn Abbas Anhu in Tirmidhi, Nabi said, وَعَلَمْ أَنَّ الْأُمَّةَ لَوْ اجْتَمَعَتْ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَنْفَعُوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَنْفَعُوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ لَكَ وَلَوْ اجْتَمَعُوا عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَضُرُّوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَمْ يَضُرُّوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكَ رُفِعَةِ الْأَقْلَامُ وَجَفَّةِ الصُّحُفِ Know that if the entire creation were to gather together to do something to benefit you, you would never get any benefit except that Allah had written for you. And if they were to gather to do something that, to harm you, you would never be harmed except that Allah had written for you. The pens are lifted and the pages are dried. This is such an inspirational hadith. It encourages us to put our best effort forward in any action and takes away any fear of influence by others. The result is that a believer is neither pessimistic nor afraid. Now, at this point, you may think, what if someone puts his trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for support, tries his best, and it still does not get the expected outcome? This situation could easily lead to depression and even loss of self-confidence. He might regret his action or even question his belief. Look at how beautifully Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam devised a preventive measure to such a predicament, to the concept of taqdeer. Noted by Abu Hurairah Ta'ala Anhu in the Majah, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, إِسْتَعِنْ بِاللَّهِ وَلَا تَعَجِزْ فَإِنْ أَصَابَكَ شَيْءٌ فَلَا تَقُلْ لَوْ أَنِّي فَعَلْتُ كَذَا وَكَذَا وَلَكِنْ قُلْ قَدَّرَ اللَّهُ وَمَا شَاءَ فَعَلَ فَإِنَّا لَوْ تَفْتَحُ عَمَلَ الشَّيْطَانِ Seek the help of Allah and do not feel helpless. If anything befalls you, do not say, if only I had done such and such. Rather say, قَدَّرَ اللَّهُ 
وَمَا شَاءَ فَعَلَى Allah has decreed and whatever He wills, He does. For saying if, for saying the word if, opens the door to the deeds of shaitan. So bottom line is the concept of taqdeer, qadr, predestination, elicits the best effort from a believer and brings forth the best outcome and takes away the possibility of anyone feeling depressed or feeling afraid that someone else may influence his, his effort or result.